Hey guys, I'm the one you lost, and in this video I'm going to show you how I made this artwork of more of a cutesy kind of uh, Neko looking character. <laughs> so first of all, I would like to say thank you guys so much. We just hit 10k subscribers, which is kind of crazy for me because I never thought I'd get this far. But um, yeah, it's definitely something I'm super uh, excited about, and thank you so much everyone. It really does mean a lot. Uh, if you've liked these videos so far, you know, it... It means a lot to me, and thank you so much. In terms of uh, this artwork, though, getting back to business, um, I went for kind of like a cutesy look because I don't get to draw cute characters enough, and I just really wanted to this time. So I went for kind of like the cute like schoolgirl look, very, uh, very what's the word, moe, I think? Um, maybe if that makes sense. But yeah, smaller characters, and made them Neko characters because, you know, cat girls... We all like cat girls. Don't pretend you don't. But yeah, the goal was to do uh, Gura from Hall Alive and Bijou, which are two of my favorite like designs in terms of like small and adorable. Um, I do a lot of more sexy artwork, so it's nice to take a breather and do something more cute every now and then. Because I really enjoy making cute things, and that's something that I wish I could do more, but it's not really what I'm known for on Twitter, so... You know, sometimes you just have to live with uh, the bed you've made, if that makes any sense. Um, but yeah, for the most part, like, I kind of just winged this one. I didn't really have a plan going in. I kind of just was like, well, I hope it turns out good. And it turned out all right. So uh, currently the uh, reception on Twitter as of recording this was kind of, uh, kind of um, poor in terms of... Uh, it didn't do as well as my stuff usually does, and that's okay. Sometimes that happens. But as you can see, we've got the basic idea down. Now I'm going to start adding the base colors and kind of plan out everything and kind of make it make sense, so to speak. Yeah, I went for a darker hair color to kind of make it uh, the shines in the hair pop a bit more. I also made Gura's hair a bit more blue just so that there's something to differentiate between the two characters. Because if I make the uh, colors too similar, it starts to look a bit off. As you can see, I also adjusted the composition of the artwork and planned everything out with a multiply layer. Multiply is kind of my bread and butter. Um, it, it ends up making my stuff look a whole lot better, in my opinion. Um, I'm starting to play with gradients a whole lot more which is definitely paying off in my opinion. You see the tonal curve. I'm kind of planning out all the lights and shines. I tried doing a photo background, but I ended up just not feeling it, so I had to kind of change it later. Yeah, adding the shines, kind of making it pop a bit more. And there's a bit of a jump here because I was just kind of playing with it to see how I could push it a bit further, more like a finished illustration. And now we're doing the line art, which is something that I really enjoy doing. If you've been watching my videos for a while now, you'll know that I really, really enjoy doing line art. It's very relaxing for me and allows me to perfect what's already there and try to make it even better. Um, when it comes to doing clothes, you really don't want much line art. So that was my mistake in this particular artwork was adding too much detail to the clothes in terms of uh, lines. Because for the most part, clothing is done through rendering and not necessarily lines. So now we have the basic idea. Um, I, I really struggled with like the the plated part of the of the shirt, where the um, fringe. I don't know what to call that. I actually somebody told me a long time ago what that's called. The like sailor uniform on top of the uniform, and for the life of me, I cannot remember what it's called. So I might Google it after this. I was actually super proud of the hands I did for this one. Um, I'm trying to get better drawing hands. I'm still not great at it, but I'm slowly but surely getting better. Um, I got to keep trying, pushing, seeing if I can make everything kind of come together because I'm slowly getting to the point where I feel like I'm actually getting good at drawing anime. So um, that's, that's super exciting for me. If you guys have been following me for a long time, you'll see how much I've grown as an artist in just a year. Um, and I'm really glad I'm going back to doing more and more videos than I did in the past. I'm trying to be more uh, consistent with uploads, trying to record every artwork I do, because I tend to be pretty fast. Um, at least I've told I've been, I'm fast. Um, 
maybe I'm not, maybe there are others who are just so much faster than me, but that's okay. You know, over time I'll get faster, I'll get better and things will, uh, things will hopefully work out. So drawing more than one character is very tricky for me. So I had to be a uh, very, um, I had to pay a lot of attention to the characters. Um, it's very easy whenever you're drawing more than one character to make one size a bit too big or too small. Um, measurements are super important. I've gotten very good at eyeballing them, but not everybody can do that in the beginning. So my advice to you would be learn to draw one character consistently before you jump into two or cheat. And the way I mean cheat is like if you want, if both characters are standing in the same place, you could technically just copy and paste the head and flip it. Um, now whether or not you want to do that is up to you. I tend to do it just because I don't want to draw another head shape all over again. Um, but if the angle of the head is different, sometimes you got to do it. Just make sure that you're lining up the other head to the head you're currently doing to make sure they're the same size. I'm also getting better at drawing hair. I feel like I'm a really big fan of like bangs that are like cut evenly rather than, um, the pointed ones that I usually do just because it kind of looks more neat. And I really like uh, tidiness in my lines and my characters. So I'm definitely starting to like it. I used to hate drawing it because I'm like, oh, all this like precision is really annoying and I'm not very good at it. But over time, I've slowly gotten pretty good at it. Now we're on to uh, Biju's eyes, which uh, yeah, I'm kind of doing a mix of my old style of eyes with my new style of eyes. And you'll notice that when looking at my old stuff, um, that there's a little bit of that influence in this particular artwork. I'm going for like that cute mouth open XD kind of look. <laughs> Back in the mid 2000s again with this one, baby. So now we're getting her hair down, which is a bit more, uh, less neat and a bit more, uh, pointed, which, uh, it's nothing wrong with that. I still like it. Looks cute. That's the point. That looks cute. And we're slowly getting to where we need to be. We're now adding the ears and the fluff inside the ears, which is super important. You can't not add fluff to a character's uh, ears. That's just my personal rule. It's very uh, adorable. Now we're adding Gura's hand, which is on top of the head. Now we're drawing the bow. Um, bows are a bit tricky and sometimes I'm really lazy, but this one I wasn't lazy on. I added a lot of detail to this one. And I should probably stop being lazy if I'm being 100% honest. So now we're getting on to the base colors. Yeah, just getting everything taken care of. To the character's eyes, the mouths clothes got the whole thing going it's just like trying to narrate over putting in base colors really just is tricky because it's like maybe I shouldn't be talking right now but um, I love to talk I'm a talker I am autistic and a talker so <laughs> yay two things that don't mesh together now we got the basic colors in. I made Gura's a bit more uh, muted and a little more blue. Now I'm adding kind of that black border back in and kind of filling in the gaps. And now it's time to start rendering. I start with the skin just because I prefer to start with the skin in my artworks. Uh, personal preference of mine. Not necessarily something you have to do. Lots of gradients if you notice. Yeah, I'm flipping the canvas all the time. Super important to do that um, because you find little mistakes. It's become almost a habit for me at this point to flip the canvas. And I would recommend you do it too. Doing the uh, the rendering for this uh, particular sleeve was a bit annoying. I had to like erase it and redo it a few times just because it felt, it felt more like ice cream than it did a, a shirt, if that makes sense. So I had to go in and fix it later. 
I'm still not fully satisfied with how it turned out, but, you know, sometimes you can't be perfect. I didn't have a good reference in front of me for the for the sleeves and whatnot, so I kind of just had to hope for the best. I'm zoomed pretty far out here, and I would actually advise against that. Um, if you're zoomed too far out, uh, you start making little mistakes that'll be way more noticeable whenever you zoom in. And I got to get out of the habit of doing that, but I get in like this like very uh, focused state whenever I'm like getting on rendering. I'm very, uh, very much in almost like a trance. I just kind of go into that and like time stops moving or speeds up and I just don't really uh, focus on anything else other than the characters that I'm drawing. But we are starting to get really close to the end. We are in the final stages pretty much here. Now we're doing the eyes. Um, I'm doing my old way of rendering eyes, which I think looks a lot better now that I have like new new things to do. I did a multiply layer again, and I'm kind of highlighting particular areas to make them pop even more, if that makes sense. Just kind of pushing the lighting even further beyond. Insert Goku yell. Now it's starting to come together. Lots of add glow and whatnot. Some post-processing. There we go, some hard light. Color balance. A little more work on the shadows and some added highlights just in case. And there we go, there's the finished artwork. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. Helps out a whole lot. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!